Hello, we are out here with a Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this RGB flush transition. But don't waste time around here, let's just get straight into it. So, I'm going to make a new project, I'm just going to call it RGB tutorial. I have a folder here, so I'm just going to drag into random clips Ooh, from my prompt video and wait for that to import. Okay, drag these clips in. I'm going to contrast the high energy and. Ooh, the high energy of the dancing with just me sat there right so i've got oh that's loud first one i'm going to turn it down i go right click audio gain minus i don't know 10. all right i'm probably gonna get copyrighted for that but um who cares i'm not monetized anyways that should be enough for that i'll just audio gain backspace the gap to bring the other clip close backspace backspace so now i have this where i can apply the transition uh, I'm going to show you a couple of ways. Uh, first way is, well for all of them you need to drag and uh, right click new item adjustment layer so you can drag it on top of this like that and then okay so once you have your adjustment layer you're going to trim it down so you've got a bit of space on either side and then uh, you're going to go into effects, or I'll just do it from the start, video effects, uh, immersive video and you'll find VR digital glitch where you can just type in VR digital you know yeah and then drag it on to adjustment layer. As you can see, it's already looking like a very, very cool glitch effect. So what you're gonna do here is keyframe the master amplitude right here, it's at 100. Go back a few frames, bring it down to zero. Go forward a few frames, bring it down to zero. And then you'll see. Yeah, that's a very, very long transition. So I'll just shorten that with the keyframes here. Uh -huh, that is looking pretty cool. I'll make it a bit shorter. So then if you look at the whole thing. Yeah, that is number one glitch transition. You can add in sound effects too. Maybe I do have maybe I have a sound effect. I'll have a look. Oh, I do have one. Top ten glitch sound effect. Yeah, you can download your own if you want. Uh, where are these? Yeah. That sounds like a good one. Just uh drag that along here to the cut that we have made and uh yeah, that's, that looks good. Take away five decibels maybe, see how that sounds. Ooh, a bit of a... There we go. There is number one glitch transition. Uh, on to the next one. You're going to cut out uh, a section of both of these layers and you're going to nest them. I go into uh, where's nest, there you go. Nest them and then you're going to take a note of where the split is. Uh, click and then press M for a marker and what you're gonna do is hold alt and drag up the video layer to copy it and then copy it one more time you're gonna want to drag color balance RGB to all of these for the bottom one you're gonna want everything except red to be a zero for the middle one you're gonna want everything except green to be at zero or the top one you want everything except the blue to be at zero change the blending mode to screen here and then screen here and you can see you're left with normal video so these are the normal colors so then you are going to offset the position of these so as you can see if I offset it uh, the colors separate out so I can do this maybe or I can maybe scale them up or down I might scale it a little bit that looks pretty good so as you can see it is glitched but it's glitched for the whole thing so what we can do if you want to is keyframe the position and scale and bring them back or we can make it easier for ourselves take the whole thing shorten it shorten it bring these clips back sorry about my phone right there and as you can see the glitch only applies to this certain area here i'll also show you the keyframe thing so, as you can see it's very very brief you can make it longer um but yeah i'll show you the keyframe method so as you can see we have got position and scale here uh, I don't know if I moved position skill, I did. We have keyframes here, we're gonna go back a little bit, we're gonna reset both of these, reset both of these, and then go forward a little bit, reset both of these, reset both of these. So look, on this side everything's normal, on this side everything's normal. So then it glitches with keyframes out and then in. So if you want more of a animation sort of feel, not just a static, oh it's normal, glitch, normal, you can have uh, a, a smooth transition. If you make it longer, you'll 
it'll be more clear to see but yeah so that is number one and then number two. Oh, I might drag across that transition there by the way if you want to copy anything hold alt and drag it so perfect there we go so there are two RGB split transitions and the third one I'm going to do, uh, I'll show you right now. So the third one is again in the immersive video, all these VR transitions are very very good and very creative. For this one I'm going to use the chromatic aberrations. Again we're going to drag in an adjustment layer, I'm going to cut the end of that. Um, adjustment layer, as you can see chromatic aberrations, you see this very cool sort of outer glitch. You can change it up, you can make it ooh, very trippy, you can change the green, you can, yeah you can mess around with this you can do all sorts maybe change the blue a bit there we go as you can see that is a very cool looking very creative uh, transition what you're going to do is key all of these uh, go back a little bit set the aberrations to zero so that it's normal right there and then go forward a bit and then set them again to zero so then you've got normal video right here and then you should see a nice RGB transition. Oh, that's a bit long. I, I always end up making the keyframes longer on this side than that side for some reason. And then again, you have a nice RGB effect with a split. You've got chromatic colors looking very cool. Uh, yeah, uh, it'll be clearer on different contrasting videos. Like if you have um, like a truly foresty sort of area and then a sandy beach, the the transition is going to be a lot clearer because the party scene here has a lot of colours, flashing lights. You can't really say that well. It was a bad choice of clips on my on my behalf. Yeah, here are three very cool transitions you can do very quickly, very easily, completely transform your video. You know, and yeah, first one, second one, and then third one. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want any more uh, effects or transitions or anything that you want us to show you, leave a comment, leave a like, anything, do all that cool stuff. And yeah, see you later.